The 2007 football season at Union College found the team in the playoffs again. Including this year, Union has made the playoffs 16 times, playing in 10 NCAA championship tournaments and six ECAC championships. Over the last three decades, on-field excellence, playoffs and championships have been commonplace for Union football. Over that span, Union has had 12 players named first team All-Americans. The Dutchmen have also had many ECAC All-Stars UCAA All-Stars, and Liberty League All-Stars. 2007 was no different. The 2007 football team finished the season in the playoffs for the third year in a row, and the squad had 12 Liberty League All-Stars, including three unanimous selections. Offensive lineman Anthony Morello was named to D3Football.com's All-East Third Team. The Dutchman's drive to excellence is a journey, and although the pieces were being assembled in the late 70s, the beginning of almost three decades of excellence began in the 80s. It all started with a bang, as Union finished 1981, 4-4-1, with a win over nationally ranked University at Albany. The mold was cast, and that season began the current streak of 26 years without a losing record. And currently, the Union College football program ranks in the top 15 in winning percentage of all Division III schools in America. In 1982, Al Bagnoli, currently the head coach at Penn in the Ivy League, was promoted to head coach. Al finished his career with an 86-19 record, number two in wins behind current head coach John Audino. During Coach Bagnoli's era, Union played in six NCAA National Championship tournaments, reaching the East Region Finals four times and twice played for a national title in the Amos Alonzo Stag Bowl. During that dominant decade, the program swelled in national prominence. School records began falling like dominoes and are still falling. The team won two Lambert Bowls as the best Division III team in the northern part of the nation and was awarded the ECAC's Team of the Year honors twice. The program recorded four undefeated regular seasons and had six players named First Team All-Americans. The 80s were dominant at Union, and that's just the beginning. The 90s began with the first of five ECAC championships with a pounding of Plymouth State on the road, 33 to 19 in 1990. 
the 1991 team finished undefeated 9-0. The first of two unbeaten regular seasons during the decade, and the Dutchman reached the NCAA Final Four. John Audino began his reign in 1992. Not missing a beat, the 1993 team recorded another undefeated season and another trip to the NCAA tournament. In 1994, the Dutchmen finished 8-2 and, and won their second ECAC championship as Union beat UMass Dartmouth 34-14. In 1995, Union finished 9-2 and, and reached the NCAA East Region Finals for the fifth time, pounding Plymouth State on the road 24-7 before losing on the road to Stag Bowl runner-up Rowan. In 1996, the Dutchman finished 9-1, but was surprisingly snubbed by the NCAA Selection Committee. But the team went on to win the third ECAC Championship of the decade with a 26-13 win over Salve Regina. The 90s closed with the Dutchman's fourth ECAC Championship and a 31-7 win over Ithaca College. During the 90s, Union had three players named First Team All-Americans, with two NCAA East Region Finals and four ECAC championships, the 90s era at Union took our breath away. That's decade number two. Y2K began with a 9-1 regular season and another trip to the NCAA tournament. That was the beginning. 2001 brought the fifth ECAC championship to Union as the Dutchman beat the number one passing offense in the nation, Hartwick College, 38-25. In 2005, Union finished 10-0. In the playoffs, Union thumped Ithaca College with a 55-point explosion, reaching the NCAA East Region Finals for the sixth time. In 2006, Union finished the season with back-to-back -back Liberty League championships and the 16th trip to the NCAA tournament, having one of its finest seasons. A quad of the best offensive players in school history led the attack. Quarterback Anthony Marotti finished his career at Union as the all-time leader in passing with over 8,300 yards. His favorite targets were wide receiver Steve Angeletta, who finished number one all-time in receiving yards, and Ryan Twitchell, who finished number two all-time. Running back Tom City O'Connell finished number one in career rushing yards with over 4,100 and 54 rushing touchdowns. Thomas was named MVP of the Aztec Bowl, a national college all-star game between Team USA and Mexico, leading Team USA to a win. So far in this decade, Union has had three more first-team All-Americans. This decade isn't over yet, and the team shows no signs of slowing down. The 2017 finished the year with another trip to the ECAC championships, and the senior class finished their four-year run with a 24-4 league record, a 29-12 overall mark, and back-to-back -back league championships. The 2007 class played in the postseason three out of their four years with two NCAA tournaments and an ECAC championship game. Union College plays in the Liberty League and has won back-to-back -back league championships. A disputed overtime touchdown and a loss in the last minute 30 kept Union from winning the league four years in a row. Liberty League opponents include the University of Rochester, the U.S. Merchant Marine Academy, WPI, Susquehanna, St. Lawrence, Hobart, and RPI. The league is recognized as one of the most competitive leagues in the East. In 2007, including Union College, the league sent four teams to the postseason. The Dutchman's 2007 non-league opponents included two of the top 10 teams in D3Football.com's poll. When a student athlete plays football at Union College, the player is surrounded by a staff full of confidence and years of football knowledge. The team's point man is head coach John Audino. A graduate and football player at Notre Dame University, John has had a wealth of coaching and recruiting experience at the D1, 1AA, and D3 levels. In his 16 seasons as head coach at Union, John Audino has a record of 120 and 41. He tops the list in all-time wins at Union 
and is the first coach to have 100 wins in football history at Union. After the 2007 campaign, John ranked 12th among active NCAA Division III coaches in winning percentage, and his 139 career wins puts him in the top 25 among active coaches. Gary Reynolds is the assistant head coach and has been on the staff for 25 years. Peter Brown is a graduate of Union College and is the defensive coordinator, finishing his 16th year. Irv Chambliss is the secondary and special teams coach. Irv spent 13 years coaching in the Ivy League with over 30 years of coaching experience. Larry Cottrell finished his 23rd year on the sidelines as the wide receivers coach. Gary Holtz joined the staff this year after coaching for over 30 years of high school sports. Blaze Luliano coaches the defensive line and is a new addition to the staff after a 37-year run at Saratoga High where his teams won 18 titles. John Knapp is in his fourth year, also coaching the defensive line. John also coached for three years at Siena College. John Kralovic is the secondary coach and special assistant. He is in his 11th year on the Union sidelines. Chris Nappy coaches the running backs and played football at Union as a running back and later as a safety, earning D3 football All-American honors. Daryl Steverson coaches the tight ends and has finished his fifth year on the Union staff. Alan Fiore is in his fourth year as an offensive assistant. Allen played at Union and was a two-time All-Conference star. Rounding out the coaches is T.R. Perna, an offensive line assistant. He's a certified strength specialist and played for Union on the 1989 Stag Bowl team. Cheryl Rockwood is the head trainer, and she makes sure that every player is ready to play. Traditionally, setting up the offense with good field position to start drives begins with a strong defense. The Union defense still holds the NCAA record by going almost two years without allowing a rushing touchdown. Some of the toughest running backs in Division III have been smothered by the Union defense. The 2007 Garnet Wave was a roadblock for opposing offenses, and it all starts with stopping the running game. The Garnet Wave collapsed on defenders like a giant weight on ball carriers as they tried to move the ball on the ground. Junior Joseph Catalano led the defense with 97 total tackles, leading a trio of linebackers who all refused to quit on a play. Seniors Vito Pellerito and Mike West were the other two. Senior defensive end Chuck Pinkton terrorized opposing offenses, and senior defensive back Mike Daly completed the top five tacklers in 2007. Quarterbacks were harassed by the Union defense with tons of pressure applied to the passing game, and sacks came at just the right time during opponent drives. The secondary wove a tight net around receivers with Pat Sheridan defending the opposition's best receiver. Mike Daly led the team in interceptions. RJ Simone, Pat Sheridan, Alex Markell, and Chris Broly all had at least two. The 
the 2007 Union defense played hard all year, holding St. Lawrence to only nine points, Rochester and Susquehanna to seven points, and WPI to only three. In 2007, Union averaged almost 300 yards on offense per game. When the offense gets the ball, it moves down the field in a variety of ways. The graduation of four all-time offensive players in 06 opened the door for new players to move into starting roles. Those players took over the reins in 2007, and the diversity of the offense throughout the year was impressive. The offensive high water mark of the year was a 54-point domination of the Merchant Marine Academy on the road. Behind your back. Preseason All-American senior Dustin Connolly helped the offensive line open holes for the running game. Senior tailback Zach Tillo led the team in rushing and finished the 2007 Union season second in total yards while hitting pay dirt seven times. Zach was the starting fullback in 2006 before moving into the starting tailback position in 07. Zach led the team in carries, showing he could carry the ball on the ground effectively, gaining the tough yards. But Zach wasn't done. He wasn't limited to just carrying the ball. He added a second weapon as a receiving threat by efficiently catching passes out of the backfield. Rounding out the stable of additional running backs in 07 were freshman Chris Coney, who averaged 5.6 yards per carry with almost 500 yards and four touchdowns, along with sophomore Johnny Johnson, the son of John Sr., a Union alum and past football great. He averaged 4.8 yards per carry while hitting the end zone twice. During the 2007 season, Union used three different quarterbacks. Ted Savetti began the year behind the center, along with Andrew Cattalier. Both quarterbacks are mobile, but they thrive as drop-back passers. Andrew separated his non-passing shoulder early in the game against WPI, but he was able to return to the team and ended 2007 leading the Dutchman in passing yards. An unfortunate injury to Andrew opened up the quarterback position and Jared Gorier was thrown right into the fire. And the 2007 Union Football total yardage leader took over the position. Of course, as a quarterback, Jared can throw the football, but his lightning quickness and sprinter speed, along with the fact he can score on any play from anywhere on the gridiron, drove enemy defenses nuts in 2007. Union quarterbacks completed passes to a long list of receivers in 07. Junior tight end Josh McKelligan led the team in touchdown receptions. Junior wideout Charles Kaliades led the team in receiving yards. And senior wide receiver Andrew Regal finished second in both categories. The players who moved into the starting roles this year did it without looking back, and next season returns most of the core players from this year's multiple attack offense.
Football games are broadcast locally on AM and FM radio stations. On the internet, on NCAA football's team line, D3Football.com televises games, and Channel 3 locally televises Union Football as part of their package. The 2007 football season was the final one for 18 seniors who will leave Union College playing their last football game in a playoff setting. They join a long list of players on past teams who have had the same experience. A great football tradition continues with a bright future ahead for Union football in 2008. Part of a system. 